song But he's headed west from the Cumberland Gap For Johnston City, Tennessee And I gotta get a move on away from the sun I am a baby calling my name out And all that she's the only one And if I die early, at least I will die free And I suppose the most important piece on the floor is this and I think this is really true of all of us. Everyone who made a piece here might have thought it was insignificant. Might have thought, do you know what? My piece is a bit plain compared to that piece there. My piece isn't as good. You see the way she did that bird pen. My piece isn't as good as that. But your piece is as important as every other piece because without it, it doesn't make a whole picture. And that's what peace education is about. It's about understanding. It's the whole picture. I got all these important people together here. Really important people. These are all Nobel Prize winners. You might be able to recognize a few. We've got Mother Teresa there, we've got the Dalai Lama there, we've got <laughs> Nelson Mandela there. We've got Betty Williams. Do you know who Betty Williams is? Betty Williams and Mairead Corrigan were two Irish housewives who had enough of violence in the north and people killing each other and said, she just not want to write this, but I'm just a housewife. What would I know? And they started the peace marches in 1976. They were there. God, don't put me on a camera. God. We never thought we would be famous. There they are, with Martin Luther King, Barack Obama. They were just people who said they were going to make a difference. This is Nelson Mandela, who died this year. Um, and I suppose it's appropriate that we pick up a mantle in the age of the guy that passed away. Has to be greatest peace hero of our time. But I'd like to introduce you to the new greatest hero. Who's going to be a peace hero? It's a choice. Just look in the mirror. Once you decide to change something, you can do so that's what this is about. It's about showing you that these people <coughs> sat where you sat, said, I can't make a difference, and then stood up and what counted. Some of them famous. My friends Betty and Mairead, not so famous. But the difference is massive. We've been given two peace candles that were specially made for today. Specially made for today. You know. Some unique things happen to create this event that you like to be aware of. So later in the ceremony, we're going to light those. And one is going to travel back to Italy, and one is going to stay here. And it's going to mark a commitment that we're making for the new peace heroes. This piece on the floor is what we're going to talk about now. And I think there's a couple of people who are going to talk about making this piece. Peace is very important for us as a community school. Because there's many pupils at our school that need to get along and to work hard to include all the different nationalities, religions, genders and beliefs. Peace is important because it stops war and violence and it makes the world a better place. Uh, peace for me is when people don't remember the word selfish and is when everybody open their heart to help someone and is a big hug um, between people of, of, of different <coughs> countries. And uh, I think that we will have peace only when the concept of race will uh, dis dissipate. For me, peace is something so special and I think it's impossible in the world because people don't understand how important it is. Uh, we, we can't do anything because the world is so big, but we, we, we can start from our, our, ourselves uh, to eliminate the uh, racism 
and uh, pre prejudice uh, and uh, re re respect the others, the, the most important thing. Uh, for me, peace means um, coexisting with others and accepting everyone's um, faith and ideas. And uh, to, um, to achieve this, uh, we should eliminate racism and stereotypes and learn to accept other people's opinions and faith and culture. Uh, for me, peace is uh, try to get on well with everybody and uh, treat uh, everyone uh, as we want to be treated. So uh, starting to be nice with uh, everyone so that people will be nice with other people, so starting from a little community. We can create peace because little community make a better population and a better population make a better world. And I think peace um, in the world to have to stop in wars, but um, even doing small things like being friendly or creating new friendships for people. Social media is, is, is part of our lives and when we were at the Cycle Against Suicide Congress um, two weeks ago, um, all through the conference, Jim Breen was saying, I want you to tweet it now, I want you to tweet it now. I think it's really important. Social media this last couple of weeks has got really bad press. It's got really bad because people were following something as stupid as net nominations. But so, you can't ban that. I was listening to all these sensible people going, oh, we've got to ban that, take it. No, you don't. No, you don't. You've got to put up the opposite. You've got to flood social media with the good messages and the right messages. And that's what you have to do. You can't shut things down. There was a, I was listening to Bill, Jim Creighton. He's going to have a booze free Paddy's Day. That's his response. And I think that's the way to go. So please, tweet it, Facebook it. Make it, make it trend around the world. Make it be trendy to do these things. And make it be trendy to do the right things. And that's the way to get your message across, not by banning stuff. So by all means, I'm delighted to see the phones out. I'm delighted to see you. Share the piece. One small room nowadays can be across the world. So it's really important you do that. To her, when she said, I wonder is there anywhere we could do a big, big silence? And Ronan, who was our mutual friend, said, I think there's over a thousand people in Grandia School. Maybe you should give her a shout. And Rosemary came down and we were having a look around and we met Mr. Finn just going home and Rosemary said, Would you do it? And Mr. Finn said, Sure, why not? And everybody laughed. How are you going to get 1,500 kids to stand outside in spirals, holding hands and silent? We just asked. And he did it. Like that. Cleared the school faster than any fire drone we've ever had. 15 minutes to get everybody into three perfect spirals. You were amazing because you just committed to it. So that's where the relationship began with Rosemary and the mentors who said yes were the first students to say yes. And without them, we couldn't be doing this because we wouldn't have had the support. Thank you so much, Grania. Um, the peace candles, I collected them yesterday evening from a monastery. Do you know what a monastery is? Because there are not that many anymore, so I'll explain it a bit. There's a very special monastery in Dublin, a group of nuns, can you imagine what color 
of Habit de Wear. It's really beautiful, royal burgundy. So it's the color red wine, they call it. And this nuns, uh, I, I made a phone call less than seven days ago. I said, sister, do you happen to, you know, have candles? I need special candles for peace. And I spoke to her on the phone about the special thing you're doing here. And I said, sure, we will do it for you, especially for you. So I said, I want it in peace and a peace with the name peace and the design of a dog. And I said, can we have it in blue? And she said, yes. So when I arrived there yesterday, it was ready. And it was a sister from Slovakia who did it. And so there are a lot of influences and talk about relationships. It's like what you're doing here, bringing bridges, building bridges between Ireland and Italy. And because there's something coming from, Czech, uh, from Slovakia here and all this, we are building invisible bridges. We're joining hearts together. And that's how peace happens. We tear down the walls, because walls make us more insecure. When we don't see what's happening, we begin to be very suspicious. But when we build bridges, we have surprises, because we discover something new each time. So thank you for bringing a peace from Ireland back to Italy. And hopefully, when the ones who are going to Italy will return, they will also bring something Italian to us here, and we will continue to bring, build bridges. Thank you so much. Um, just drawing to a close, I, I'm very interested in blessing. Um, of course, I would be, be the chaplain, you'd be into blessing. But more than that, my granny was a very, very traditional Irish woman from the west of Ireland, Connemara, and they always blessed each other. And it's important to understand that by being a human being, by being a person and part of the universe, you have a power to bless another person. And I didn't understand that. And when I got posh and went to college and learned about other religions, I realized when when I'm bowed out by another religion, they're acknowledging the divine in me. They're already acknowledging that there's a blessing in me. So religions aren't different, they're very much similar. So on your sheet, you have a little peace, prayer of peace. As the day, as the labor of the day comes for a quiet, may all that is strained in us come to ease. We pray for all who suffer violence today. May an unexpected serenity surprise them. That those who may bridges from violence and war might hear in their dreams the cries of the lost. That we might see through our fear of each other and be vision to hear our fight of attraction to aggression. That those who enjoy the privilege of peace might not forget their tormented brothers and sisters. That the world might lie down the land. That our swords may be beaten into touchers, and no hearts or harm be done, anywhere.